Hello, we are back with another example on dimensional analysis. So for this example, we will be converting 1.00 acres to square feet. So we need to know how many square feet there is in 1.00 acre. So as usual, we will start with what is given. Alright, so we have here 1.00 acre, then we have one blank here, meaning we need at least one conversion factor to get our answer. So as always, we have here our desired unit, which is in square feet. So we need to have now our equivalent statement. I have written here our equivalent statement, which is one acre is equal to 43,560 square feet. Now you might wonder why this is very big because... An acre is not the commonly used unit for length. It's an old unit and it's usually of the U.S. origin. So we have to make this equivalent statement into the corresponding conversion factor and place it here for us to be able to get the correct answer. Now remember, you have to make sure that the units are properly placed. If you want to cancel the units, the unit that should be cancelled should be written in the denominator and your desired unit should be written in your numerator. Okay, so we now have transformed this equivalent statement into the corresponding conversion factor with the proper units place. So that we will see that the acre unit will be cancelled out and we will be left with the unit square feet. As I've said, we now have cancelled the acre unit and this will really tell us that we are on the proper way of solving a problem because the units are cancelled and we are left with only of our desired unit which is in square feet and we calculate all of this and we will arrive to our answer which is 43,560 square feet and again that is from multiplying 1.00 by the conversion factor 43,560 square feet but look at the number of significant figures. Remember, in reporting your final answer, it should be in the proper number of significant figures. So we started with only three significant figures. So this is not yet our final answer. Our final answer will be 4.36 times 10 to the positive 4. Or that's 4.36 raised to the power of positive 4. And how did you arrive from that? Simply moving the decimal place from this answer to the right, sorry, to the left, one, two, three, four, so that gives us now three significant figures, and that is incongruent with our initial given, which was 1.00 with three significant figures. So remember, the key task here is you should always begin with what is given, and make sure that your con conversion factors are properly written to see the cancellation of units as seen here, and report your final answer in the correct number of significant figures. So that's it for this example. Thank you and continue learning.